torts and jurisprudence. Torts is suing someone. So not criminal law, where you break a law and the state says you've committed a crime, but when someone causes you harm and you want to make them pay for it. Hey, welcome to our unofficial crash course of law school at the University of Otago. My name is Shani McMullen and I am a fourth year law student and tutor here at the university. Um, during my time as a tutor and also as an RA at one of the halls of residence, I have received a lot of questions from younger law students of what it is to study law at Otago and I have teamed up with Gavin to give you the video that I wish I'd had before starting law school. Yeah, so today's video will be in five parts. Firstly, we're going to overview the structure of a law degree. Uh, secondly, we're going to give an overview of each compulsory law paper. Uh, thirdly, um, Shani is going to give us her advice on how to tackle readings, study, exams, um, and other things that are important in being a university student. And fourthly, covering the broader skills that are needed to be a lawyer. And finishing up with what communities you can join as a law student. In New Zealand, if you're a lawyer and you want to do So what is the structure of a law degree? Well, uh, a law degree is four years. If you want to do a double degree, you can do it in five years, but we can come to that later. In your first year, Laws 101, you do one four-year law paper with two exams at the end of the year, both which make up 100% of your grade. Entry into second year is competitive, after which you do four compulsory papers, full year as well. Property, public, criminal and contract. After you're through your second year, you have two compulsory papers left, torts and jurisprudence. There's also ethics, which is compulsory if you want to be a lawyer, which not everybody does. Along the way, there are a few extra assignments and research programs that you have to do. At the start of your second year, you do a four week compulsory writing course and you do a practice moot, which is kind of like law debating, a practice research and writing assignment, and then five compulsory research and writing assignments that you have to do before you graduate. So could you tell us a bit more about law in first year? Sure. So in terms of just law, in first year you do one paper, which is the full year, and do two exams at the end of the year. In Laws 101, you will study five main subjects. So the first one is Origins of Government. New Zealand inherited Britain's legal system, and Origins of Government looks at how that system developed in Britain and how that translates to New Zealand today. The second topic is legislation. So looking at the laws themselves, statutes, how to read them and how to interpret them. The third topic is case, so looking at legal cases, the outcomes and the rulings from them, how to read them and how to use those outcomes to inform future cases. The fourth topic is legal principles, things like the rule of law, no one is above the law, everyone is subject to it, or learning about the court system in New Zealand. The fifth topic is law in the community, so learning about the law and lawyers and their role in society, and asking moral and philosophical questions, like do you think the law should be certain or fair? If you think fair, whose standard of fairness? The thing about Laws 101 is that because there are two exams in the second semester, most people usually do three papers, non-law papers, in first sem, but only two in second semester, because you want to spend as much time as you can studying for law. So once you've finished first year and got accepted into law, what happens? Once you're into second year, you do a year of straight law, and it's four full year compulsory papers, which are property, public, criminal, and contract. Uh, second year is often regarded as one of the hardest years of law at Otago, um, but it's kind of cool because you get to know everybody in your cohort and everybody does the same thing and that's really cool. Second year is really to give you a foundational and broad understanding of these key areas of law and to develop your legal writing and thinking skills. So what happens after second year? So after second year, you only have two more compulsory papers left to do. Torts and jurisprudence. Torts is suing someone, so not criminal law, where you break a law and the state says you've committed a crime, but when someone causes you harm and you want to make them pay for it. Jurisprudence is the philosophy of law. So not just what the law is, but why it should be that way. We live in a world where we've just made laws up. Are they good ones? And there's also a couple kind of side quests that you have to do along the way. So in your third year, you do a practice research and writing assignment and a practice moot. And before you graduate, you have to complete five research and writing assignments. So every law paper has an optional assignment and you get to pick which five you do. There's also ethics, which is a compulsory paper if you want to become a lawyer, which not everyone does. Fun fact, out of roughly 2,000 people every year who get a law degree, less than half of them actually go on to become lawyers. What about double degrees? Don't some law students do those? 
Yeah, a lot of law students don't do just law, they do a double degree, so a Bachelor of Laws, but also a BA, a BCom, a BSci. And the good thing about this is it usually only adds one extra year to your studies because you're doing non-law papers for your law degree anyways, so they can just cross credit and it doesn't add too many more. What about honours? I'm doing honours uh, in my course this year and that entails taking a year out from the normal course um, and spending a whole year writing this thesis. What does it look like in law? Yeah, so in law you, it actually doesn't add an extra year. Um, so you do, you write a dissertation in your final year, which for me is my fifth year because I'm doing a double degree. And you pick a topic, you pick a supervisor, and you write a dissertation. An invitation for honours comes out at the end of your second year, um, based off grades, or you can apply to join the programme after your third year. Uh, what about your timetable? What are the contact hours like? Yeah, so for each individual paper, you only really have to do two or three hours of contact time per week, but there is more of an expectation that you do uh, readings and self-directed learning outside of class. But uh, this is an example of my calendar. So from last year, I did some really cool law papers, uh, negotiation, law in the South Pacific, law and emerging technologies. And this year I'm doing international human rights, uh, labor law, law of evidence, family law. This is pretty standard. Um, here's some of my friends' calendars as well. But one thing with law is that when you finish second year, you do have quite a few papers left to do. So I've been doing five papers a semester, both last year and this year, just to get through them. But uh, you don't have to do that. So definitely a full-on course. Are there some things that you wish you knew? I think that law school teaches you how to think and how to deal with information. And there's four bits of advice that I would give to younger me before going into law school. The first one is readings. Be smart about your readings. I'd really recommend for first years especially to do all your readings, but go about it in a really smart way. So don't just highlight. You can write little notes and little summaries as you go through your readings so that you can go back to them later. And as you go through law school, you'll get even better at doing them. So when I go to read a case, I don't just sit down and read the case. I Google it first, uh, or I find a summary in a textbook or a lecturer's notes. I read the intro and the conclusion to figure out what's going on and who won. And then I'll see if there's a specific paragraph or point that I should read, and I'll go and read that. Don't just read your course materials from start to finish, um, or you'll just end up sad more than anything else. <laughs> Tip number two. So when it comes to taking notes, I find that it doesn't really matter what you use to take notes on as long as you keep them concise and really easy to navigate. So I just use a Google Doc and I just put all of it in one big file. And when I do my notes throughout the year, I make sure that I have two other sets of notes. So either older students notes or the study buddy little booklets that they give out. And I use them to complement my own and to fill in the gaps where I may have missed something. And then at the end of the year, when I'm studying for exams, me and all my friends put our notes together and we make one big kind of master files list and that's what we use to study for um, exams and tests. Um, so my third tip, and this really changed the way that I studied, was writing down questions as soon as I thought of them. So when, you, when you're studying and you have a question, write it down immediately, whether it's in the notes of your readings or in a textbook. And at the end of the day or end of the week, take all your questions and take them to a study group and see if anyone else knows. If they didn't know, all four of us would go to a lecturer's office and one person would be the designated question asker and we'd get all the questions answered in one place and it was really helpful. Uh, on that note, I think that forming a study group is really helpful or at least having one other person to bounce ideas off. Uh, when I was studying for my exams, I would do all the past papers as practices and then at the end of the day come together and compare answers with my study group. And this was really important, this kind of bouncing off ideas because that's, that's the real skill of lawyering. My fourth tip, and this is something that I really want to highlight, is to get involved in the competitions. So there's a lot of lawyering skills that they don't actually teach you at law school, which is why in New Zealand we have profs or the professional course. Once you finish your degree, if you want to be a lawyer, you go sit profs and it teaches you all the practical skills like advocacy and uh, negotiation and things like that. But you don't have to wait until after you graduate to start developing these skills. There are a whole heap of competitions at law school. You can do mooting, negotiation, witness examination, and these competitions are really good for developing your real lawyering skills. I said I only had four tips, but here's my fifth one, is to get involved with the associations around campus. So I am, incidentally, I am the president of the Pacific Island Law Students Association, and we put on heaps of cool events that are for networking, studying, and career developments. And there's uh, SOULS, the General Students Association for Law Students, and they put on so many cool things. And it's important to remember that these people will be who you work with throughout your career.
You can also join Effective Altruism to need it. <laughs> yeah, how was that? Bit of a crash course? I learned a lot, I'll tell you that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know a lot about these law things. Um, yeah, well it's taken me, what, like four years to figure out how the law degree works here, mm. so hopefully it'll help people figure it out before they get here, so they can plan their lives a bit better than I did. Yeah, if people have questions and they put them down below, will you answer them? Yes, of course. Please put any questions and I will be constantly checking it and yeah, I just, I think there's a lot of kind of confusion about what a law degree looks like and I think it's really good to be clear before you go in. Like and subscribe to Gavin's channel, he's actually got some really useful stuff. Um, his last video on systems I found really useful. Uh, this is pretty fun, um, all the best. Alright, I have no idea whether that worked or not, so... <laughs> I kind of liked how informal it was. Yeah.